hey guys welcome back to a vlog so i haven't vlogged in quite a while so i thought i'd vlog my little competition that i have today so today is a show jumping competition and um i'm jumping to qualify to qualify for rectory farm um i went to rectory farm last year um and I just took someone's place in the dressage and I really wanted to just do it because um, it was like a team and she dropped out and you needed at least three for the team and there was only two when she dropped out so um, so she so they were like can we have a last minute replacement and I was like yeah sure so I replaced her and I really really enjoyed the show so I wanted do it again this year but I, I i'm not a dressage person so i did the event of, like a couple weekends ago um and as a team we qualified for rectory farm one day um one day event and yeah so that's good and for the show jumping today hopefully i've qualified i don't really mind if i don't because i'm already doing something there but i would like to do it as well because it's just a bit of exposure um and we would have to stay overnight because it's in sight and it would be like the one day event and then the next day it'd be the show jumping or the other way around really excited i'm not i don't really get nervous before shows to be honest um i just kind of get nervous when we get there and then i just like try try not to like overwhelm myself and if we have if we're in like a team and i've got like my friends there then i'm just like with my friends um while we like walk the course and stuff so that's nice that we have like friends there but yeah so it is it's like Crawford Manor or something like that. Um, I'll put the name on the screen. But yeah, it is. It sounds very bougie, whatever it is. It's like something Manor. Um, and yeah, so yesterday I washed Meggie's tail, body, and then I also did her plaits for today um, in her mane. Um, I just used some gel just to slip them like at the top of the plait. Um, just so that it wasn't like, what's the word, it wasn't like all frizzy and everywhere. Um, but I think, I'm not sure if my mum's going to put her tail or not, but because it is um, a qualifier, we have to plait her and wear a um, white saddle pad, or not or whatever you call it. So I'm going to wear my Premier Dime one. I also have my Volta Dime one in the car, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wear it, because it has to be white and that one's blue i like the blue on it um but yeah so i'm thinking of maybe plaiting a forelock now but because i cut her mane a bit dodgy it's kind of a bit layered so then so the hairband doesn't go as far down so we have the hairbands packed already so i'm just probably going to put a couple hairbands like at the bottom and then like roll it up like that yeah or mama's gonna roll them up or my mum's gonna roll them up i don't know um, she might roll them up like after we do the course walk, like, I don't know, really don't know. But I also need to plait her forelock. We don't usually do that because she doesn't really like it, Have she doesn't really like the plait in the forelock, so we don't put it in the night before. Um, but yeah, I need to pick her feet out because I'm riding and I need to pick her feet out. So I'll pick her feet out quickly. Um, and while I groom her, I'll do a little toe lapse. So I really didn't get much piece to camera footage at the actual show, but I did get videos of the round and I got videos of the fences in the course. So the first one was like a clear round, so it really didn't matter what the time was. And the second one was on time. And um, if you like had the same time as someone, it was like um, to faults, so but this was the first there. course. And it was a really windy course um and yeah so it is a really nice venue 
and it was like a little dog leg to this fence and then it was it was actually quite cool course um and yeah and then you like took a sharp turn to this one and yeah as i say it was very windy but yeah so i hope you enjoy my round so without further ado let's go so this was my round and the people that went before me um well the person that went before me actually didn't have a very good start as um her horse was rearing and i got really nervous i was like oh no but yeah as you can see um i pretty much have to trot all of it and yeah she was super good and we did get clear in this one and in the next one we just got four faults because i decided to take a jump off turn um and i knocked the pole because i like turned in the air but yeah so really windy course i had to trot most of it but the venue was super super cool and the fence that I'm just about to jump is like, um, it was like silver and then had like yellow on it. And yeah, but this turn you had to like go off the corner really fast by the gate. And she was like, I don't want to jump here. I want to go to my mummy and get treats. Um, but yeah, she was really sensible and I'm so, so proud of her. And yeah, some of the fences were really big, like that green one next to the post box one which after this one I'm just about to jump um, and it was only pure 70 but that one looks a lot bigger than the one next to it um, and then the second one was up to 75 um, but I do think that one was 80 um, and the next fence that I'm about to jump was like a skinny fence and loads of people had like falls a tear or like stops or the top um, plank off but we didn't get it and I was super happy with the results that we got and she was super super good right this is my next course and as you can tell it is a lot bigger from up close um and it was like a little dob leg to this one and it wasn't actually that um it didn't feel that big like to ride it um but it was quite big um and this fence was like literally falling apart like so many people got the pole off um and then after that you needed to like go I don't know what I was doing there you need to like turn around and go to that green one and then it was like a related distance to um a fence like afterwards um that one there and then you like took a sharp turn around to that one there and then you went behind that and then behind number four the purple one and that one that's the one i had a pole on because i took a jump off turn um and she literally barely touched it but you know um and then you go through that little gap and then through to number nine um and then number 10 is that little colorful one and then number 10 and 12 and this is my round So fence number one, we had a really, really good jump to it and I just wanted to get her turning and I wanted to get her back to me for fence number two because it was quite a sharp turn. Um, I mean, it wasn't too sharp, but I mean, I didn't want to rush it um, and get the pole down, so I just took it a bit wider. Um, and I did actually get individually placed eight. I thought I was on a team, but um, it ended up being cancelled because we they had two dropouts um but yeah so related distance um really really good and after this jump you can tell um like what i did wrong on the next fence which resulted in me getting the pole but i went behind number four loads of people went before and i was like debating whether i should or not but yeah i just took a turn in the air um and yeah so yeah and she was so so good so honest and i just really feel like i just need to get her out more um and yeah she didn't put a foot wrong it was just me messing it up as per usual but yeah so f lovely course and absolutely amazing results and she was phenomenal so happy days so i'm just um leading moving down to the field and um my mum is coming down to poo pick so i think she's going to bring the brushes down as well and she'll have the wheelbarrow so she can like fill the wheelbarrow up and everything 
I wasn't sure she was going to cough then. But yeah, so super excited. I gave her a little bit of a wash down because I had put gel in her mane to plait it all up yesterday. So um, it was just a bit crispy. So I just um, washed it off. But yeah, so I'll show open the gate. So be right back. Right, we've got the whole crew now. Oh, we've got Jack and Mommy. Jack and Meg, sorry. Um, Harvey and Mary Legs. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> and then we have Jack and then Marmalade. So we've got the whole crew. Oh my god. I don't think this is supposed to be on YouTube. So if you can't tell, everyone is now in the film. And then Marmalade. Marmalade's always on her own, bless her heart. I really want to get her a little companion. I want to get her a little Shetland friend. But Andy won't let me get any more horses. So we're going to have to get her a goat. But, um, yeah. Yeah, there was just some beef between Harvey and Jack. Because they both wanted Merry Legs as their girl. Um, I had to delete that though because it was a bit feisty. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I kind of just want to sit down here for a little bit, to be honest. I might do some jumping, you know, because we've got all the jumps out. Yeah, I want to jump mommies, but she's, she's living, living a lazy life at the moment, aren't you, darling? She's loving it. Um, oh, <gasps> this is so cute, this is so cute, this is so cute, so cute. Oh, maybe it's not cute. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> I think they're together. Oh my god, why is he eating her tummy? Hello? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Mary Legs just gave him a little bit of a swish of the tail. Now Jack's gonna try and make mates with Harvey again because Mary Legs has ditched him. Oh, mommy! Come here! Hello? Oh, they're all peaceful now. I'm gonna leave them. Because I don't want any more beef. It's too much to handle. Anyways, that's that. And I'm actually really happy with how we went today. And I know that we had like a fault or whatever, but I don't really mind. But oh my gosh, when I tell you about 30 people were eliminated and so many people um, retired, there was this person um, before me who went and she was literally like going in like starting to trot around and then her horse literally refused to move and she was like kicking it like oh no it's all right i think that it was a young horse and then she it got it moving and then it did like one step and then it just started frantically rearing and i was like oh my gosh and then um her mum had to like lead her to the start fence because she was like in the video you're like see like it's like by it was like by the gate by that um by that like post box fence um and she was like she was like no i can't do it and her mum was just like keep going because i bet they like literally spent so long trying to get there because we we spent an hour and 20 minutes ish getting there and back which is three hours of traveling and three hours in the trailer for meg which isn't very nice so we were gonna actually stop off at my nana's because we passed there but i was like you know what she's been on the trailer for long enough today this is not a very flattering ankle like but yeah so that's really that and yeah but i'm i'm a bit annoyed that i did get the pole but it wasn't meg's fault it was my fault for literally jump off turning like mid air um, but yeah, I'm literally just walking around the school, like what's going on. Um, I'm gonna do some jumps actually, and I need to move like one of the fences before I do that, before I forget. Because Jack keeps standing on it, and I forgot that it was there. So I moved it, and then he like dragged it back in again. <laughs> so yeah. Guys, if you're thinking about getting a young horse, don't get one. They're a pain in the bum. This fence down here was like a perfectly normal fence. 
he's wrecked it. He's really wrecked it. I've got to film an outro um, because we had to like rush home because it got like really late um, and I had dinner ready at home and I was hungry so yeah but um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and if you didn't but if you did please like the video and um, please subscribe because I want to get to 50 at least 50 subscribers at the end of the year so yeah and i hope you're enjoying love you guys bye